Okay, so now we're here at From the Larder and these are some of the finest looking cakes I, I've seen, I must say. Thank you. Do you make these? Or I do, I make them myself. Wow, okay. And, and another great thing about this market is the fact that you're getting, you know, the creators of, you know, the food themselves here, the ones that are sourcing the produce, the ingredients, the chefs selling direct. Um, so, could you talk to me a little bit about some of your um, products here? Sure. Um, so, I make all the things myself in my kitchen. Um, so, they range from all different kinds of ingredients from here I've got a sweet potato cinnamon bun bun. Sweet potato, cinnamon yes. bun bun, that's different, love it. I yeah. do try and use ingredients that are maybe slightly unusual, yeah. or, or just certainly that make you think and make you think, oh, you know, I have a slice of that, it'd be yeah. nice. Um, yeah, so I get my inspiration from all different places. Um, here's vanilla malt sundae cupcakes, obviously going for the real sort of old school. Yeah, traditional. Traditional um, cupcake and yeah. vanilla sundae. Um, and this one is my best seller. It's a blueberry basil lemon drizzle cake. Blueberry basil lemon drizzle cake. Yes. Okay. Basil in a cake. I wouldn't have expected. I know, it. but it tastes really nice. The basil's quite floral. Yeah. Very delicious. Yeah. Very, very, yeah. Interesting combinations. I love it. And this one here. This one caught my eye. What's that? Yes. This is a cinnamon apple cake with salted caramel, cream cheese, buttercream. Is it? How, oh, this is just so creative. I'm loving it. Um, do you have a shop set up or anywhere? Or I don't, have... but I do have a blog um, from the Lazer.co.uk. Okay. 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 And this one I blogged about only a couple of weeks ago, so the recipe for this one is actually on my blog. Oh, wicked. So we can actually try that ourselves at home. Amazing. And do you do any other markets at all? Or? No, I just do this market. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very exclusive to Tottenham. Oh, yes, <laughs> all right, well, we'll check out your blog, and your cakes look amazing. Thank so. you so much. I'm here at the Pink Cactus, and this has been yes. one of the hot spots for today. Non stop. The guys have been working all day. Making burritos, tacos, incredible food here. Thank you, enjoy. I'm going to speak to the, um, the owner of the, uh, the pop-up at the moment. You have been non-stop. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, very happy, very glad to be back. Yeah. Yeah, we were here last summer, we loved it and we couldn't wait to be back and oh, today finally, finally it's happening. So, yes. so what are you making here today? We're making tacos, yeah. which is with a freshly made corn tortilla, which is popular in Mexico, everyone is what we eat, tacos. Yeah. Also burritos, yeah. the one who likes like this old wrap and just, you know, bite it and enjoy. And huevo rancheros, breakfast, oh, we bring it as well. Amazing. So yeah, it's to bring all the atmosphere, Mexican and this, food. Oh God, if I could yeah. just translate like the smells of the fruit and the different flavors and oh my God, it is incredible, yeah, it's great. Thank you. Can we have a look over here, let's see what, what, what's going on over here. You're creating new so nice. that's the, for the vegetarian option. Oh, right, okay. It's very popular sweet potato, red peppers, um, red onions, mushrooms, Yum. all freshly chopped and grilled. <laughs> yeah. We'll just sit here and eat it, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> also some chilies for the, last, the ones who like the extra spice. Yeah. <laughs> so are you at different pop-ups then or where do we... Uh, we yeah, well we do a uh, lot of street food in markets, also yeah. we do pop-ups here in Tottenham as well. Yeah. Uh, so that's in the evenings, also festivals. So yeah, everything that is happening yeah. in London, we we get in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm definitely going to come and try one if I can in a, yes, in a little yes, bit. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, get, literally, it's been non-stop here today. I feel sorry for you guys. You've been no, no, working no. just continuously. Amazing weather and people. So <laughs> it's a great vibe, oh, right, definitely. Yes, yeah. Do you have a website or anything? Or yes, can we? Yeah, we do in pinkactusuk.com. Yep. And then we tweet there as well for everyone who wants to know where we are around. Okay, wicked. That's All right, good. we'll come back and um, get one of them to try later in a bit. Okay. Yes, please. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you, love. So I'm here with award winner Matt, he's part of Craving Coffee and another fellow Australian and as we know us Australians are slight coffee snobs so we know that it's going to be fantastic coffee. Matt you have been non-stop today, literally you've had queues constantly, I haven't been yeah. able to get a couple of minutes with this guy. Um, talk to me about, so yeah, what are you creating? <laughs> oh well I'm just doing a flat ride here for, for yourself I think, and yeah. the mocha is yeah. yeah. And so, do you do pop-ups or do you have a cafe? We have a cafe um, that we opened in... Um, sorry. We have a cafe on Mount Road, uh, which is yeah. in Tottenham, which we opened... Uh, so in Tottenham. Yeah, in September, um, two years ago now. Uh, before that, we started with our coffee cup. So we started doing local muffins and then yeah. opened the shop. And uh, an award-winning barista. Uh, well, no, actually, yeah. no, I've never won any awards. Um, but I've uh, been doing it for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I've been doing coffee for about 12 years. So okay. Yeah. Or mocha. Yeah, thank you. 
Americano. Um, but yeah, I've been I've been fortunate enough to do a lot of different things in coffee, from roasting to training roasting. Yeah. And kind of come full circle with it, back to where I started being on bar and serving people like this. So. Were you doing this back in Australia? Or? Uh, yeah, quite a long time ago. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've done a few different things, I guess, over the time. But yeah, yeah so in Australia, in Canada, um, and then the UK. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Any, any advice for other coffee makers out there? Obviously, it's a highly competitive, you know. Yeah, I just think uh, in this day and age, you can just be doing something sorry, with the best of your ability. It's, uh, it's amazing, by the way. Sugar. 